you are about to take a journey out of this world into the world of the future. That whole album gave us the opportunity to do these weirdo experiments. Stand by for the 10 second count. 10, 10 seconds, 9, 8, Science fiction 7, 7, was an expression of 20th century's man's hopes, dreams, and aspirations. Just read the titles and you get a feel of what 1967, 68 were like. It was just time to take a break and this was our way of coming back. You know, we're itching to go. One must try to foresee where it is that one is going as much as possible. Jumping Jack Flash is the first inklings of actually enjoying making a record game and there was a certain sense of direction in the sound. The magic of recording is that you can actually capture an atmosphere and a feeling and it's there forever for everybody. And that turns it into a possibility of an art form. Those basic sounds aren't really interesting on their raw state like this. We have to shape them and mold them. Recording itself and the technology of it, you cause something to listen to it back. Musical history tone is a brand new invention. For these are the electronic brains of the future. Well, we're committed to the view that the computer age is going to permit this continuation of the release of mankind's leisure time. You go in and make a record, it depends how you actually feel. I had a definite feeling that we were starting to find the Rolling Stones. A lot of the subject matter that you write about, it, it depends what's going on around you. You just mirror the society that you're living in. Robots as a whole will turn on humanity in the sense that a robot culture will be developed that will make human culture meaningless. Nobody knows the answer. Computers are taking over now. Computers and automation. There just won't, won't be enough jobs to go around. I was working real hard on my job one day when my boss came on the scene. He said, son, go in and get your pay and make way for the working machine. This, our country and all its people, could be in danger of nuclear attack. Students come to me and tell me something about their own experience, and I get a recurrent theme of uh, the world is about to end. Very little thought is being given to the dangers of the misuse of these systems. Technology can be a toy, or it can be a tool. I think people will no longer want privacy. Here we have a mechanism that could be abused. I mean, you've got a threat of a nuclear war hanging over you. So people say, well, let's live for the present, damn it. And the tensions and, and uh, the confusion that was going on around that time. Some people calling it revolution, other people calling it sort of, you know, half-assed anarchy. <laughs> really, it was just chaos.